first cast fish, you guys, no kidding. That is nuts. Stay on, baby. I've never hooked a fish on this uh, setup here. Try to keep that. Might need to actually tighten this up a bit. I know I can. Oh, what a way to start out the trip. I was no kidding. I'm on my way to the coast right now again. And uh, I, even though I know this river is low and quite clear, oh, it's a keeper too, wow. It's, uh, I figured I'd stop by <laughs> and throw a cast. Wish I would have had that luck uh, last week. Well, I'm glad it's a keeper because I'm not wearing uh, my waders or anything. I have no backpack, no scent, no nothing with me today. Well, it's up in my car, but wow, that was, hey guys, oh, I love these, love these fish. Oh, you just made me a happy camper too. Look at you. Oh, catch and cook coming up, you guys. Looks like you've gotten, you've been through hell and back, that's for sure. All right. Sorry, bud. I cannot believe that. Yeah, we'll cook you up. As you guys are just had brought up, although he does have a, a gash on this side. We'll make sure that when we're uh, getting this guy cleaned up and prepped that uh, there's nothing going on in the inside here. Wow. That is a beautiful fish though. First cast bobber down. There's no, no complaints from this guy quick just kind of goes uh that question about scent does it work does it not work i mean i honestly i think it's always going to help improve your chances but honestly this was a brand new jig out of the package that had never been thrown before no scent no nothing tipping it no bait on there All right, guys, we have made it once again back down on the Oregon coast, one of my favorite places to be. Uh, in my backpack, hopefully crossing my fingers, is everything needed to get this fish cooked up out here. I tried to go with a simple way of doing this, and it's a very popular yet simple way for catching steelhead or cooking steelhead, cooking trout, uh, especially if you're out camping and just kind of limited on resources. So I think this is gonna be a good one today, guys. I do need to get out here and get a fire set. Uh, we will see how that works out. We are out here on the beach with the sand. Hopefully being back far enough like this, we won't have uh, any blowing sand blowing into our food because obviously I do not want sand up in my steelhead. Right, you guys I think this is going to be an amazing spot now I've got all kinds of stuff in this bag that needs to get especially the fish we need to get this fish cooked so obviously first things first we need to get a fire out here so luckily there's a lot of this dry stuff that's gonna use some of that as tinder get this thing going get this fish on the fire and eat yes
All right, you guys, as you can see, we've got a lemon I need to get cut up and an onion here as well. So I'm gonna get this stuff all prepped, ready to go because the fire behind me is almost ready to go. So I'm gonna need to bust out the tin foil. <laughs> That's the problem with being in the sand at the beach. But I'm gonna get everything ready to go here so we can get this fish on that flame. We are gonna add some melted butter to this as well, but I did cut up a few things that I wanna put in here just to kind of help give it some more flavor. So we're gonna do these onions that I cut up. So now that we've got the, uh, make sure it's not too hot. We've got the lemon and the onions on there. I'm gonna melt some butter in here and throw in a few spices as well. So our lovely, I'm gonna go half a stick of butter here. Always my favorite part. Add some salt, pepper. Got some lemon pepper. Oh, lots of lemon pepper. And garlic. <laughs> no shortage of flavor today, guys. That's about ready. Oh yeah, that's ready. Now it's the crazy part. We, now we take this deliciousness. Put that all over. It smells delicious already, you guys. you guys and now we wait i'm gonna give that about 10 minutes take maybe a quick little look at it uh i have yet to actually do a fish like this myself over an open fire so i know that it can range between 10 and 15 minutes but i don't know how big you know these sizes of fish are that people are using and you know per pound uh, how that all works out so this has got to be a first for me but you know, by the smells of what's going on over here, I have a feeling it's gonna be very delicious. I just hope that I don't completely slaughter this uh, catch and cook here. You guys might've noticed I'm only could cooking a, uh, a decent uh, sized little portion, but I ended up hooking up a buddy with the rest of that fish because I am down here on the coast. I'm not gonna be able to eat that much fish uh, that quickly being down here. So I don't wanna let any of it go to waste. I got what I needed off of it for the uh, catch and cook and as I said was able to pass off the rest to somebody else that's also going to be able to enjoy that fish. When we cut back to this scene it is going to be done, it's going to be ready, it's going to be delicious and I am going to eat steelhead on the beach which is a, a first for me. Today is a day full of firsts and that's what getting out here and doing this has you know, been all about you guys. I think it is time to go check on our fish. This little uh, wooden fort thing back here looks pretty cool. All right, you guys, I think it is time to try and get this thing off of the fire. 
that part I didn't really plan out. And once I get this out, I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit. And I wanna do a little more uh, butter with that little bit of uh, lemon in it to put over the top of this. So now first task is, it's getting it off without ripping the bottom too. Let's see here. I need a stick, lift. Oh yeah, it came, there we go. We got it. It tastes anything like it smells right now. I think that's perfect timing, guys. Oh yeah. I almost tried to get too dark on that side, but it actually looks like that's just the sauce. So. All right, guys, well, now it comes down to the moment of truth. Uh, quickly, I wasn't planning on doing a catch and cook down here with a steelhead. Uh, so it was rather interesting to come down here and have to kind of switch it up on the fly. But uh, I gotta say for one, two, I am no chef by any means, you guys. Like, I hardly even cook back at home. So it's rather fun to get out here, try new things. And uh, these catch and cooks are a lot of fun. I'm starting to uh, really enjoy them. And I like the feedback I've been getting from you guys. to be honest with you guys like I'm not even the biggest fan of steelhead I uh, prefer salmon more than any other fish here in the Pacific Northwest but that is really good as you can see that's really flaky there's nice layers to it I think that was about 15 minutes on there and that uh, seemed to be just about perfect. That extra bit of sauce was definitely called for. Like I said, being that I'm not big on steelhead, and it's usually because it does have that little bit of fishiness to it that I'm not that keen on. But I think that mix of the butter and the spices or the herbs and whatnot really kind of just took that away. Uh, I'm gonna call the first steelhead catch and cook a success. But most of all, I gotta say, for being able to cook something over a fire, that's the first. So to be able to do that without completely killing this fish uh, was a huge plus for me. So as always, you guys, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. I feel like I'm bringing you guys on these adventures with me, even though I'm out here by myself. So to be able to share this experience, and get the feedback that I do from you guys is just absolutely priceless. So until next time, you guys, best of luck out there, and I hope to see you out on the water.